you have reached the Grand Forks office as you've sent under John Holden. No one's available to take your call, but if you believe your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as we Thank you for calling Senator Hogan's office. We're not able to take your call right now. To leave a message, please press 7. Thank you. So that was the Bismarck office. So this is the Fargo office. Help you. Yes, good morning. Um, I was just watching Senator Hoven on the uh, uh, Homeland Security funding, and uh, he was saying one size fit all, fits all. And at the time of our founding, the only written guarantee in the Constitution, I think they only had one solution, um, one solution considered. And, and that one solution does fit all, and it would work now if we just instituted it. Are you familiar with the only written guarantee in the Constitution? I guess I'm, for which one, like for which amendment are you speaking of? It's not an amendment, it's in the Constitution, the only written guarantee in the Constitution. Okay. Are you familiar with that and what the I founders? I'm not sure what you're referring okay. to. Okay, so it's Article 4, Section 4. And it was the only it was the reason the states united to become the United States. And that was because individually they were susceptible to invasion. So we created the Constitution with the only guarantee in the Constitution, written guarantee, was a protection from invasion. <clears throat> and what they were considering then is what could be considered now, and it is a one size fits all. Okay, and what message would you like me to send to the senator for you today? His, Do you believe in a one-size-fits-all? Well, I would like to know where our Constitution was amended, where the original intent of that written guarantee in Article 4 was amended. Okay. Okay, and then secondarily... I would like to know how he might be exempt from Amendment 14, Section 3. Which is? That's, that was the, the slavery thing, and on, on the 14th Amendment, it was anybody that is sworn an oath to protect the Constitution and goes against that Constitution is ineligible to serve as a senator or a representative. So what what I'm getting at is we had one size fits all. That was the military on the border in 1787. And since he doesn't seem to know that, I would like to know why he's exempt from Amendment 14, Section 3. So that's about it. And I'm sorry to rag okay. on, but I'm just really upset that nobody seems to know the Constitution. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your call. You have a great day. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.